Telecom major Bharti Airtel has partnered with Verizon to launch its new video conferencing service, Airtel Blue Jeans. The app will go up against the recently launched Geo Meet and other popular options such as Zoom, Google Meet and Microsoft Teams among others. However, the service will initially be available only to businesses in India. It offers enterprise-level security including meeting lock, secure transmission and storage, randomized meeting IDs and fraud detection. The app also features CloudPoint presence in India to enable low latency, HD video and Dolby voice and can accommodate up to 50,000 participants on a call. The MGM Resort's 2019 data breach may have affected more than 142 million guests and not 10.6 million as previously reported. The security-focused online publication ZDNet said that a hacker put up an ad on the dark web selling the leaked details of over 142.48 MGM hotel guests for about $2,900. The data breach reportedly occurred in the summer of 2019 after the hotel's cloud servers were hacked. But it came to light only in February 2020 after a batch of 10.6 million guest data including information on celebrities, tech CEOs and government officials were offered as a free download on a hacking forum. The leaked files included details like full names, home addresses, phone numbers, emails and dates of birth. The Season 14 Royale Pass for the popular multiplayer battle royale shooter PUBG Mobile is now live, dubbed Spark the Flame. The latest season brings new multi-form gear skins, including a new commander set that upgrades as you progress and a blazing dawn flame finish. There's a new RP Prime subscription available for Android users. It comes with two levels of membership, Prime and Prime Plus, along with monthly, quarterly and yearly subscription options. Players can collect 300 or 900 RP vouchers every month, along with redemption discounts and airplane ranking display perks. Season 14 will also mark the return of the Roaring Dragon sets and Dragon Hunter themed rewards as a celebration of the two-year anniversary of PUBG Mobile's Royal Pass. Realme has launched a new affordable smartphone in India, the Realme C11. It features a 6.5-inch HD Plus display and is powered by the Octa-Core MediaTek Helio G35 chipset coupled with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of storage that is expandable via microSD card. With a 30 megapixel dual rear camera setup and a 15 megapixel front camera with features such as AI beauty, filter mode, HDR, portrait mode, and time lapse. The smartphone lacks a fingerprint scanner but gets a face unlock system. It boosts the latest Android 10 with Realme UI on top and is powered by a 5000 mAh battery that supports reverse charging. The Realme C11 costs 7,499 rupees and will be available from July 22nd via Flipkart and Realme.com. Smartphone maker Poco's third smartphone in India, the Poco M2 Pro, has gone on sale in India via Flipkart at a starting price of 13,999 rupees for the 4GB, 64GB base model. It features a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus display and a Snapdragon 720G chipset paired with up to 6GB LPDDR4X RAM and 128GB UFS 2.1 storage. The M2 Pro comes with a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup, a 16 megapixel selfie camera with a dedicated night mode, and a 5000 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charging. It also gets a 3.5 mm headphone jack, a side mounted fingerprint scanner, and a P2I nano coating for dust and splash resistance. Japanese electronics major Sony has expanded its extra bass wireless speaker range with the launch of the SRS XP43, SRS XP33 and SRS XP23. The latest speaker units come in a refreshing new design and feature extra bass for deep sound and enhanced audio quality. The IP67 rated speakers have built-in Google Assistant and mic that allows hands-free calling. There's a multicolored LED line with the XP43 adding extra tweeter lighting. Sony claims the XP43 and XP33 support up to 24 hours of music playback, while the cheaper X23 gets 12 hours of on battery time. The prices start at 8,990 rupees and go up to 16,990 rupees. They'll be available for purchase via leading online and offline stores from July 16.
Xiaomi owned Huami has revised the price of its Amaze Fit Verge Lite smartwatch in India and is now available for 4,999 rupees on Flipkart. The toned down version of Amaze Fit's flagship wearable, the Amaze Fit Verge, was launched last year with a price tag of 6,999 rupees. To recall, the smartwatch comes with a 1.3 inch AMOLED display with features such as multi sport tracking, continuous heart rate monitoring, music control, app notifications and more. The IP68 rated watch has Bluetooth 5.0, GPS support and a 390 mAh battery that is promised to deliver 20 days of usage. Samsung seems to be working on a toned-down version of its flagship Galaxy S20 series smartphone, the Galaxy S20 Lite. It's listed on the benchmarking website Geekbench with a processor codenamed Kona, which is the Snapdragon 865 processor. It comes paired with 6GB of RAM and was spotted running Android 10. The smartphone is expected to launch around October 2020, a couple of months after the Galaxy Note 20 series.